Does everybody think this is the coolest way to fight fires? Well, it's pretty darn cool and it's pretty unique. Today, the crew is practicing getting off the helicopter in steep terrain below a fire with no place to land. The pilot hovering close, keeping it balanced as the team unloads gear before going to pick up more gear and attaching a water bucket. A dangerous job if you think about it, which this self-proclaimed farm boy pilot from Nephi doesn't. Yeah, I've never really been asked this question. I'm like, I guess it is dangerous. Pilot Russ Garrett and the crew are on call in this trailer together, 12 days on, 12 off, ready to go 24 hours a day. A lot of action, a lot of, a lot of moving pieces when we get going. Um, really interesting work. Garrett flies firefighters into places a fire truck can't and lifts them into the air within 15 minutes of a call. A lot of people want to do it, but not everyone is cut out for it. Of course, it's in the middle of the summer. It's hot. We're in heavy grass and brush. We have a lot of gear, but we train for that, that type of environment. Greg Wilson is the helicopter crew supervisor. His crew must be not only fit, but also built for critical thinking with a positive attitude. This program has a perfect mix of what I call brain and brawn. So you have to be able to excel at both of those. If you're just physically fit, but you're not a problem solver, you're not a critical thinker, then you're not going to succeed in this position. Wilson has been involved with Hell Attack crews since 1994, and he's seen it all. I've been on fires where lives have been lost and structures have been lost. Our biggest priority is protecting um, lives and making sure that, that we as firefighters get home at the end of the night and that the public is, is safe from wildland fire threats. Up until now, Utah has been the only western state without its own hell attack program. It costs $1.2 million a year, but if they keep a fire from going big, the program saves a lot more money than that. A fire that would have cost us a couple of million bucks, we keep it from going big, and we, it, the, the program paid for itself. Those on the team with experience know how critical timing is to stopping wildfires before they become the big destructive news story of the summer. They also know the sheer exhilaration of doing a risky but exciting job right. I have those moments where I'm flying and I look out the window and I think I can't believe they're paying me to do this. <laughs>